Um, we have an esteemed panel of prior Jasons here, and you know, we'll open it up to questions from you. But um, I thought we'd start maybe by asking each of you how you got cast as Jason. Who's he? Well, who, who would like to start? Let's start with Steve. He was part two. I want to thank you all for coming, first of all. I think you're the best fans in the whole world. Uh, um, how I got cast is none of your goddamn business. <laughs> Damn, he's tough. Tough. Jesus, okay. Hostile. See, that's what happens when you come uh, to New Jersey. Well, how I got cast was the fact that uh, you know who couldn't do the job. <laughs> they hired Warrington Gillette to play Jason out of California, and Warrington said that he could be a stunt guy and do his own stunts, and obviously he couldn't. And on the first day of shooting, um, when they were going to shoot the scene where they go through the window, and the reason they shot that first was because of the seven-hour makeup job that they had to do on him, and that makeup was done out in California, the prosthetics and everything. So when they got to Connecticut to do the shoot, they wanted to do that first so they wouldn't have to spend a lot of time with makeup every day. And uh, when he couldn't go through the window, why the stunt coordinator, Cliff Cudney, realized they had a problem. So uh, Screen Actors Guild was on strike at the time, and I hadn't worked in about three months. It was one of the longest strikes of Screen Actors Guild. And he called me up and he said, listen, he says, I'm doing this show up in Connecticut called Jason. He says, and the guy that they hired can't do the stunts and they want to get rid of him. How soon can you get up here? And I said, what's the name of the film? He said, Jason. You remember that Friday the 13th thing? I said, that piece of shit? <laughs> he said, yeah. I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, well, we need you to be Jason. I said, you're kidding me. It's going to be the lead role in a film, I'm saying to myself. So I drive up to Connecticut. Steve Miner, the director, and... Uh, Cliff are in the uh, in the room, and Cliff brings me in, you know, and he said, this is the guy that looked me up and down. He said, yeah, he'll do. He's the right size. That's good. Take him to the wardrobe and see if he fits the, the, the costume, because they already had the costume. So I went to wardrobe, put on the old rolls. I put on the plaid shirt, and I go to put on the shoes. I said, Cliff, the shoes are too small. He says, you got to get the shoes on. He said, because without the shoes, you don't get the job. I said, why? He said, because we already shot some stuff with the shoes and it has to match. So I squeezed my feet into the shoes. And I get downstairs and Steve That's why Miner, you never grew any bigger. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I get downstairs and I get in front of Steve Miner and he said, that's good. So he says to Cliff, get the bag. So Cliff walked, I said, what do you mean the bag? What, what's he talking about? What bag? He says, well, you got a bag over your head. <laughs> Ugly. I said, what do you mean I got a bag over my head? He said, well, you see, the deal is that this guy is killing people, and he's got this grotesque face, and you wear the bag for the whole film, and at the end of the film, they take the bag off to re reveal the face. I said, I got a bag on the whole fucking film? <laughs> I'm Jason. I'm the lead. Nobody's going to see my face? He said, no, nobody sees your face. You want the job? I said, I'll take the job. I said, give me a script. He says, you don't need a script. There's no lines. <laughs> I said, you mean I got a lead role in a film and I got no lines and I got a bag over my head for the whole movie. And your big ass feet and little shoes. And, the big ass, and my feet are going to be fucking killing me. You know what I mean? So I said, that's the deal. I'll take the job. And you right. said, and, and, no, and you didn't get the credit. And, yeah, and, and no credit. credit. The other guy. And he said to me, I'm getting to it, calm down. I'm sitting up here, shut the fuck up, you know what I mean? I'm Jason, you know what I mean? For a guy that didn't want to tell you anything, you know. So they, they, he now said to me, we got, we, I know, well, this is my chance. So he said, there's one more thing, we can't give you credit as Jason in the film because this guy Warrington Gillette, he already has the screen credit with Paramount. So it really is Jason's stunt double, but it'll be right on the front of the film under his name, They Lied. It was in the back of the film, and I never got credit for it, and that's the story of how I got the role. How about the first clad Jason, Jason 3D, how'd you get the role? Me? That would be you. That would be you, sir, 3D, that's you. Third one, you had to wear the glasses in the theater, it was, yeah, cool. That was, that's you. I don't know if I ever saw that. What? 
I don't know if I ever saw that. Yeah, with that. Yeah, 3D. Ever saw 3D? It was actually some of the. It was like it was yeah. It's a it's a much better film in 3D. Um, <laughs> how I got the role. Hmm. Um, it was actually kind of interesting because I answered an ad in a magazine in the Hollywood called. And the ad was they wanted a big guy that could do his own stunts, and I was uh, traveling around the United States at the time doing flying trapeze in the circus, which was my career at that time. So I applied for the job, and I never heard another word until this was like August 81, and then I think sometime in February, a phone call, and uh, they invited me to come in for an interview. Um, in Europe, it's not as uh, barbaric going to a casting call as it is in the United States. We call them cow calls because there's so many people standing outside and they tell everybody, your interview's at 2.15. So I show up at 2.15, there's a whole bunch of guys, twice my size, all standing in the hallway and I didn't know what the hell they were doing there because I had an appointment at 2.15. So I just walked straight past them when I went inside, <laughs> sat down with the two casting guys and they said, well, Steve Miner's not here. Do you mind waiting 20 minutes till Steve comes in? I said, sure, no problem. So I sat there in the room with these two guys. We chatted. Steve came in. We chatted. Steve turned around to the guys and said, book him. And the guy turns around and goes, well, do you want to see anybody else? And Steve said, no, book him. And the guy says, well, what about all those guys standing outside? And the only thing that I realized, those guys were coming for the same role. <laughs> and Steve, I don't want to see them. Book him. So he said, well, what if we can't make a deal? He said, make the deal. So here I am today, 25 years later. And uh, after A New Beginning came, Jason lives. How did you get cast? Mine's real simple. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? There you go. Um, and these are very, you all have stunt backgrounds. Um, did any of you incur any injuries on these sets? You were working with some people with the same level of stunt training as you, the various actors and actresses. You were slaughtering. Did you have any incidents where people got injured, any mishaps on the set? I almost, I almost died. Sound noteworthy. What happened? Which time? <laughs> Pick one. I was hurt so bad on that. When I got left, they were going to give me social disability. I got hurt. Uh, uh, we had a scene, and the, the first time I got hurt, I was uh, this chasing when I'm chasing Amy in the woods, and I jump out of the woods and I dive out in. So what we did was we dug out the ground and made a hole in the ground, put a mattress in, and filled it up with soft dirt. So when I landed out, I would land flat, almost like on a sponge type thing, so I wouldn't get hurt. And I had the pickaxe, and I jumped. Amy was so afraid of me. This poor girl was scared to death of me. So when she ran, she really friggin' ran. <laughs> she ran so fast, she ran into the camera seven or eight times, you know. And they had to keep reshooting it, and I kept diving out of the car, out of, out of the woods, and it's about six feet up because it was elevated. And I landed one time in the pickaxe on my ribs, and I broke my ribs. So we went to the hospital, and they said, well, there's nothing you can do about it, just tape it up, and so forth and so on. I said, okay. And the next time, I was in the shed with Amy, and I had to bring the machete down when she sees my mother. Or I see my mother, and Cliff Cudney, the stunt coordinator, wanted a stunt girl for that. And they, Steve Miner, the director, said, no, no, Amy can do it, Amy can do it. Amy said, I don't want to do it. He said, no, you can do it. There was a 20-minute discussion about it, and she finally agreed to do it. She was supposed to hold the pickaxe up like this, and then I hold the pickaxe up like this to block the machete. She comes down with the machete. She missed the head of the pickaxe and cut my finger. Well, we were looking all over for the floor for my finger, and I'm screaming, I lost my fucking finger. <laughs> Everybody get down and find the finger, please. There's a lot of blood, but see, we had so much fake blood. Me, from, from the saw that they cut me, and I mean, I was drenched in blood. So we, we, we didn't know if the finger was actually cut off because of, seriously, because of the blood. And when I finally let go of my hand, the finger was hanging open. And the way, it's this finger. <laughs> For real. And we went to the hospital. When we get to the hospital, they said, what happened now? Because they remembered me. Because we were doing the movie with the ribs. So they said he cut his finger and they put 13 stitches in this finger. That's a fact. And then... <clears throat>
<laughs> Remember when she killed we'll be, me with we'll the machete in the show? <laughs> I'm sorry, they asked me when I got hurt. You want to know? They're laughing. Yeah. Shut up, calm down. <laughs> I was going to say, I first time I got hurt. No, but I got hurt. I'm, not, I'm looking at a